Deshaun Jackson, I, I knew I always liked you. And it wasn't just because of the plays that you made on the field, but this is because of the play that you're trying to make happen off the field. Well, off the field for you, but on the field for Lamar Jackson. Deshaun Jackson, former Baltimore Raven there. Hey, shout out to him. Um, somebody who during the preseason, we saw him a lot on the Raven sideline too. I don't know what that was about, but I ain't mad at it. Deshaun Jackson, he tweeted this today. He said, get Lamar Jackson, Devontae Adams ASAP. And he added the Ravens too. And he had me feeling like we was in the offseason again. Because you know during the offseason, hey, we looking at, y'all know me. I'm looking at everybody. I'm trying to get every single receiver that there is because I wanted this team to go overkill. And the Ravens did do a lot because, of course, they signed Odell Beckham Jr. They signed Nelson Aguilar. They kept Rashad Bateman. They kept Devin DuVernay. And they drafted Zay Flowers. So I was like, all right, Baltimore Ravens, I see what you're doing. And I like it. But Devontae Adams. Who was with the Raiders, new quarterback, Jimmy Garoppolo, uh, dealing with a concussion right now, but he was upset. He was upset the other day after the game, and he talked about how he's not trying to sit around and wait for the team to figure it out. And when he said that, I remember watching that, and I'm like, hold up, is that kind of like basically saying that you want to leave? You want to get out of there? You want to leave the Raiders? You want to be traded? Because that's what it sounded like without him actually saying, I want to leave. I want to get out of here. I want to be traded. Because a lot of times these players, they can say stuff without actually saying it, but we know what they are implying. So after he said that, boy, I saw all these articles. Oh, a list of six teams that, uh, that the Raiders could trade uh, Devontae Adams to. And uh, y'all know me. I, I was peeking to see if the Ravens were going to be on that list. Now, they weren't. They weren't. And I didn't expect them to be. But with Deshaun Jackson, Deshaun Jackson, like, look, Ravens. The time is now. Now, do I think this is going to happen? No, it's not. But it's still fun to think about. It's fun to think about, like, when we get healthy. Cause, and that, that's the thing, too. That, that's what actually makes it sound like it could not necessarily be realistic, but it could be something to think about. Because what was a, a position of depth, and, and they still do got some, some quality depth, for sure, uh, even with... Odell Beckham Jr. and Rashad Bateman being out for now. We'll see if they return to practice later on today or, or tomorrow. But what was a position of depth? Because you had a lot of guys at the position. Injuries have completely changed everything like that. Because we went from OBJ, Zay Flowers, uh, Nelson Aguilar, Devin DuVernay, Tylen Wallace, Rashad Bateman. Rashad Bateman is out right now. Odell Beckham Jr. is out right now. Tylen Wallace just got put on injury reserve right now. So Ravens receivers at this moment is just uh, Zay Flowers and Nelson Aguilar and Devin DuVernay. They did just bring back Tariq Black uh, to the practice squad. They just brought back Dante Demas Jr. also to the practice squad as well. So we'll see. That, so a move is going to have to be made whether somebody returns in practice this week, Bateman or Odell Beckham Jr., or they call up some guys from the practice squad on game day to play receiver. So we'll see what happens. And then, of course, uh, you still got Mark Andrews and Isaiah Likely. And if the receivers are limited, then you would expect them to have a much bigger role uh, this week against Cleveland. And, and I, I mean, we should expect that regardless for Mark Andrews because Mark Andrews, I was just talking to my boy Q about it. Mark Andrews, like. He, he shows out against the Cleveland Browns. That's where you see primetime Mark Andrews. That's, that's when you see Mark Kelsey almost when he plays against those Cleveland Browns. So I would expect him to have a, a big sort of breakout game, even though we only in week four. But this could be a big moment for him. But anyway, back to Devontae Adams. While I, I don't foresee him being traded to the Ravens, it's just it, it's most likely nine times out of ten ain't going to go down. Thinking about it is still nice. Wondering about it is still nice. Just adding him to what the Ravens already got. That would be just a beautiful thing. And again, like we had talked about earlier, it would just make their worst wide receiver that much better. Because the level of depth would increase so much. The value of their depth would improve a lot and it would just go up instantly. But... This is something that is not going to go down. And you know what? That's okay.